Hi guys, Ingrid here after my 30 day running challenge. I'm doing this video because those people keep asking me, you know, am I still running? Have I stopped running after 30 days? So in answer to the question, yes, I am still running. Um, no, I love it, which is mental. Never thought the day would come when I'd hear my say, I love running, but I do, I love it. And um, what happens now, because it's now a part of my lifestyle and it's, a part, it's been programmed into my mind, what I found was after having that day rest, after 13 days, which I was like gasping for, like flat out on my bed, <laughs> couldn't move. Um, but what I found was the day after that, my body started twitching and it wanted the run. So it's all groovy, mate, it's all groovy. Programmed, reprogrammed my brain with a new habit. So I was back out again on Saturday, really nasty weather and uh, back out today again today on Monday and you know the sun is shining and once again I just thought gosh this is so life isn't it that um, you go for all the ups and down the turbulence as you're climbing the stairs you know all the rubbish gets thrown at you you've got to keep going through the rubbish because that's what's actually building mental strength and building your muscles but your muscle and your brain is actually growing also because the brain's a muscle that grows um, and then as you're going through you feel like giving up and you keep going through and then the beast comes because the beast just does not want you to reach your goal and the beast came in the form of the weather for me on day 29 and got even worse on day 30 determined to keep me off of my goal but of course by then I've built enough mental resilience to pierce through that to to pursue on to carry on the channel through and then when you get through that the sun shines <laughs> isn't that life um anyway today is thursday the 15th so i've been going out every other day there was one time i missed that um due to commitment so i had to do two the following day um but yeah basically still at it in a nutshell so what i've decided to do today if i get my bearings right you remember that um 5k run I did a while back and came kind of last <laughs> 5k walk stroke run so I'm gonna uh, I decide I'm gonna change things up a bit whereas before I just usually run for say four to five minutes to an hour that kind of thing or run and walk just they still run and walking not quite fully running yet um, I'm gonna do that 5k run again I can't see where I am I'm a bit lost that's what I put last time. Ah, right, got my bearings. Yeah, so I'm going to do that now. Um, and I decided I'm going to do that when I come here because a lot of people always ask me, um, how far are you running? I've never really measured it. It's just like, I just do the hour. So I'm going to start doing that. So by the time I get the opportunity to do that on a Saturday again, I'd have improved loads, she says. Sorry, I just boxed my hat and my earrings at my ears. Yes, yeah, so I should have improved. Well, we know that now, don't we? That we can improve just through sheer repetition. Um, so I'd have improved loads. So by the next time I do it, I can perhaps improve on my um, 45 minute timing that I'd done the last time. So that's what I'm doing now. Hi guys, Ingrid here and um, I'm going out in the rain. <laughs> And you must think that's crazy because I don't have to anymore. I've got my 30 day challenge. But um, I want it. I oh, know. Mental. But she won it. It's funny, actually, it's, actually isn't it? Because if this was day one, I'd have thought, gosh, you are joking. No way. I would have stayed in my bed. Um, but where this is, I think it's a couple of months in now. I'll double check when I get home. But because um, I've built up the mental resilience. The rain doesn't mean anything to me. Like I did like running in the beast, didn't I? That big old snow. So when things get that bad, everything else seems like nothing. You know guys, I will say, when I'm running in conditions <laughs> like this, I have to go down the side. It does make me feel good in that I know that I'm going that side of my mental boundaries. I always like to <laughs> step over these massive puddles to know that I'm stepping outside of my mental boundaries. You know what I mean? Like, 
you know what the mind is like? It just traps you in situations, doesn't it? So when I do crazy things, like someone just said to me, Oh, you're committed. They said, Oh, you're really committed. And I was like, Yeah, I'm really a nutter. But I do like doing nutty things now and again. It just reminds me that I'm stepping outside of like this. Do you know what I mean? That our minds that just traps us in situations. Every time I do something a little crazy like this, I mean, there is no one else here in the park. I've not seen another person since that guy said that to me. So it means it's utterly crazy. And I kind of love it. Guys, do you remember around a monthish ago, I think, I um, entered this 5K run thing and I came like last-ish. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> so I've been running every other day since the end of my 30 day challenge. So um, I'm hoping it's gonna be as painful. And I think I tried a practice run the other day, but I couldn't really remember the route. I did like, sort of slash the time off a bit. It is on, I was thinking it's, it's, um, it's Easter Sunday, so it might not be on. I could be like, oh, great excuse. So now we're gonna give it another go. So uh, I can't come over Saturday, unfortunately, but um, yeah, gonna give it another go. I am back. It's always easy the second time round. Rumpel Stillskin just doesn't really feature at all. Whereas the first time I came, he was just sabotaging my brain. He was all over my brain like a rash. Just telling me that I was doing a really daft thing. But um, no, now he doesn't bother my bottom at all. So uh, they're over there, pulled too far away. So right, see you at the end guys. <laughs> Load of this.